Okay, here's a real quick one. Um, I read a post over on tiny.org, uh, or tinysa.org, and somebody was asking a question about FM stations. Uh, it's, I think it's one of the first things everybody does with their spectrum analyzer is look at FM stations. So uh, let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at one in particular, which I think is very interesting here in the Bay Area. Um, so we have the antenna hooked up, and so we see everything. Ignore all of those; those are not there. But there's our FM band. So we can zoom in. Uh, frequency start. Uh, Something like 88, I'm remembering this off the top of my head, 88 to 108 or something like that, 118? I don't remember. Stop, we'll just put in 108. And so there's all the FM stations here. And so there's one in particular that I'm interested in. We're going to center at 98.5, which is a rock and roll station. But the interesting thing about it, I'm going to span one megahertz. The interesting thing about it is uh, the modulation of this, uh, of this signal. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's go to a display, I mean, level, yeah, scale per division. So let's go to five. Just make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. So this is the station, um, but it looks like there's two AM side lobes, which is kind of a weird thing. That doesn't make any sense. So let's go ahead and um, let's do display calc max hold. Okay, so we'll, we'll wait for a while for it to, uh, to build up its image. Okay, so the center section here is the, uh, is the actual FM stereo broadcast. Now, each station in the United States has allocated a frequency and a, uh, um, a modulation span. Uh, what do you call that? Oh, it'll come to me. A deviation. Uh, a deviation. I think it's a hundred and... 175, I forget. Um, anyway, it, it is some deviation and you get a, you get a channel a deviation, a channel spacing as well from channel to channel so that radio stations won't crash into another. Now, with the advent of HD radio, um, you're able to go to 240 uh, kilohertz width, I guess. Um, yeah, this is a one megahertz span, so I think it's 240. So I think this is 175 is normal. I'd have to go back and look. I think this is 175 kilohertz is normal. And then two, 240, I think you can apply for, but only in the United States. I think other countries, it's a different allocation and stuff like that. Anyway, what I wanted to point out here was uh, if you just let it run here, then all the music will eventually fill in the uh, the deviation here, and you'll you'll see all of the FM. But there's a section over here and the section over here, and those are flat top sections that, that um, there's no up and down. They're, they're completely flat on the top if you let it run long enough, and those are spread spectrum digital uh, modulations, and that's HD radio. So HD radio allows you to have two, so you can have two two stations. So there's a HD0 and HD1, or I don't remember now, my, my, my Toyota is able to pick these up on, the, on its radio. It has HD built into its, into its radio. But uh, this is one channel, and this is a separate channel. But this one is a separate channel stereo, the whole thing, and this is a separate channel stereo, the whole thing. So there's actually three channels here, the original FM channel, an HD channel 1, and an HD channel 2. Uh, all being broadcast by one particular radio station. Um, and um, so you can look over here. Here's just a normal station. It has, it has FM modulation, but it doesn't have these, uh, these flat side carriers here. That's the HD part. Um, anyway, thought that'd be interesting.